Hey everyone, uh, just doing a video update on the GoFundMe for Haas. Haas Ali Khan, uh, I'll post the, the link below so you can check it out. Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys an update. So, so far we raised $9,121. Um, so that, that's, that's great news. So I want to spend the first part of it just acknowledging everyone that um like that, that was involved. So um well I'll I'll provide more context first. So uh just to give you uh paint a picture of who Haas was and some of the things people have said. Um so Haas was an incredible human being who impacted many lives through his presence, wisdom, and kindness. Unfortunately, his life was cut short by liver cancer in uh, November of 20, um, 2022. So uh, I'm a part of the Landmarks Team Management Leadership Program, which is the community they, where I met Haas and, um, and his daughter, Tara, as well. So uh, we started the, this GoFundMe to, to support and help manage some of those medical costs associated with his, his cancer treatment. So, um, you know, some things that people have said about him, uh, Victoria Bol Bolena said, Haas was an incredible human being. He listened for people's greatness. He related to me as someone who I created myself to be. He was funny, sweet, kind, and loving. To me, he was a rock, an unshakable stand. The ripples he caused in this universe will forever flow. Uh, Josh Tan said, I want to acknowledge Haas for, for being a powerful T2. I remember Haas as being enrolling, reliable, and fun to be with. Uh, I said, Haas was a mentor. He loved his family so much. I'll never forget our deep conversations. The minutes passed by so quickly. I'm sad I wasn't able to have a steak with him. Um, for context, he, he and I were supposed to have steak and, um, you know, uh, now I can see why maybe he wasn't as responsive, right? Because, you know, he was going through this and I'm sure it was painful. He just never really talked about it. So, uh, and his very generous friends in, in the Canadian military actually did another fundraiser for him. So that was actually very helpful. Um, so Stephen Gable, Gable said, hello, everyone. Many of you know Hussein Ali Khan for his military uh, buddies, he was a member of the second squadron at the Royal Roads Military College from um, 1981 to, to 1982 until we moved to the first squadron at the Royal Military College of Canada, where he graduated in 1984. Following his military service, he moved to New Jersey, where he's lived for many years, Hussein has been dealing with a cancer diagnosis for the past few years. Unfortunately, he was at the stage where he, he will likely move into hospice care soon. He was previously in hospice, but rallied and came home. This is pretty typical for cancer patients. They tend to rally, but then enter final stage where their health declines. Hussein hasn't eaten since Monday passed, and he's in a great deal of pain and is often very tired. I also spoke to Nadira, his wife. She felt comfortable telling us about their financial situation due to Hussein's illness. Even though they both have health insurance, they currently face health care uh, cost of over $300,000. This number will continue to grow as Hussein enters the final stages of the disease. To help, to try to help the family manage these costs, we've started this GoFundMe to assist the family in addressing some of these costs. I'm not suggesting that we cover all the costs or even most of the costs, but as Nadira said, anything will help. If you can, please donate. The We know the family will truly appreciate it. Uh, Jesse Gordano said uh, he was an amazing man. Claire said, I'm heartbroken for his family. He was a funny guy. He tried to get my boyfriend at the time to propose to me by offering him incentives. He even threw in Annie Leibovitz. Now, my now husband played hard to get. We talk about this every anniversary. Len Pillen said, "Oh my, I'm so had to I'm so sad to hear this news. Bross brought me on board to a Bank of New York Mellon um, account with C 
B R E. He's always appre- I've always appreciated his energy and passion for innovation. Grace and peace to to the entire family. Nako Ogora said, "Oh my, I was about to reach out to see how things were going, and sad to see this." Hussein was our client while during the building of the New York Times, and he was one of those people I wanted to be associated with forever because he was so fair, inspirational, and smart. I'm really sad to hear this. May he rest in peace and thank you for the gift you left behind of teaching me a valuable lesson early in my career. So, you know, in summary, I'm present to how much impact one person can have in so many ways, the stories and the incredible human being he was. He didn't want to be remembered as a can- as a cancer patient. I'm humbled by the stories and how much of a meaningful interaction um, one can have in the universe. So just want to say we love and miss you, Haas. Um, so yeah, uh, and then I will read. Uh, a, now I'll just read and acknowledge everyone that has contributed. So we had a lot of anonymous donors as well. So um, I just want to point that out. But the folks who did choose to, um, you know, to acknowledge who they are. So I just want to say thank you to Joseph Brancato, Jake, JQ, Jacob E. Miles, um, Bernice Albright, and Ludsden, Catherine Chapman Stenberg, Catherine Mathis, Lena Malik, Iris Bergeau, Karen Board, Gina Rizzo, Rebecca Holm, Karen Gunther, Robert Hendrick, Ryan Lindsay, Eric Dilday Dilday, Teresa Agnew, Le- Linda Crawford, Catherine Egan, uh, Nako Agora, and Amber Rizvi, Leah Ogahari, Sabrine Reza, Darren Johnston, Edward Garber, uh, Jesse Garadano, Vincent Leclerc, David Marshall, Anan Bat, Bat- uh, uh, Let's see if I'm pronounce it right. Batia, Ali Raza, Mary Akaza, Dori Rams, Raz Musson, Robert Presser, Patricia Crane, and Chris Zaccardi. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, let's try to continue to contribute in any way we can. And if you have anything else you want to say about Haas, please do so. And I'll add it on to the GoFundMe um, updates. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.